What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on some tips on how to improve your offense. Now again, if you guys didn't see the defensive tips video, um, you guys can go check that out. It is up on my channel. Real quick, I did just want to say I do apologize for the gameplay um, aspect of that video being so short. Um, if you guys didn't like hear throughout the video, um, I, I literally that was my eighth unlimited game where every game before that all I was doing was sliding out of bounds and stuff like that. So. That was my bad. I'm not going to do that again. I will make sure that there's a lot of gameplay, especially since this one focuses more on the offensive end. But uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, be sure to leave a like on this video. 150 likes is the goal, and I will be bringing you guys some more banger videos um, that obviously will help you guys out. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Huge shout out to all you guys for hitting 30,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. Now going over the lineup here, there's not really like a lot that goes into it. I mean, there is like a few things though that are really important, such as your number one position. So your point guard through your power forward, you need to make sure that they are like able to shoot the ball. The way that the meta is this year, especially with defense and stuff like that, you need to make sure that they can shoot the ball very well. You guys can see my point guard being Luca here. Really what you want to make sure your point guard has, obviously like the shooting badge is like dead eye, ranging center, quick draw, all that is great and all, but you really want to make sure that your point guard does have dimer. Dimer is very important, especially with having it on your point guard, because obviously that's going to be the person that has the ball primarily in their hands. Um, but then again, like I said before, you really do need want to make sure that they have ranging center and quick draw. Like It's great to have on cards, but primarily for your point guard, Dimer is the most important one. As far as your shooting guard and small forwards go, those are the ones that you really need to make sure that they have quick draw and they have ranging center, because I'm going to show you guys like a good pull-up method that you guys can do that it gives you a lot of open threes and stuff like that, whether you think they are or not easy shots the green and stuff like that is what i'm talking about um again though obviously going back to the defensive end these are the guys that really need to make sure that you have clamps on as well because they're going to be defending like the perimeter um very well but again your two and three just make sure that they have good releases now your four you guys can run a bigger player i know a lot of people like to run two centers or whatever um I, me personally, the way I run my offense and the way I'm going to be showing you guys this offense, it really works better if you have a stretch for it. So a guy like Kevin Durant, Kawhi, uh, Larry Bird, you have Brandon Ingram for whatever reason, you have Melo, James Worthy, Carolyn Go, you have all these different guys. That is who you really want to make sure that you guys are running there because like I said, you're running these plays and stuff like that and they work a hell of a lot better with a stretch big like this. Um, and then at your five position, you want to make sure that not only do you have like that big body in the paint for defense, like you guys know, like Kareem, Bull Bull, Taco Fall, they can all shoot and stuff like that. Um, I just do this Chris Dobbs here because he did just come out. But again, you need to make sure that your like center does have the ability to shoot the ball. They don't necessarily need to have range extender, but I'm telling you guys this right now, if you go up against somebody running a zone or if you just be going up against somebody really toxic, Range extender is your best friend on a big man. So make sure that, you know, you're paying attention to that at least. But outside of that, you really just want to make sure that they actually have quick draw and have the ability to shoot at least a little bit. Um, and then obviously just make sure they can do post moves as well. As far as the playbook goes, I made a playbook tutorial video on the Miami Heat 13 playbook and the Hornets playbook. And a lot of you guys ask me all the time, which one do I like more? 100% the Miami Heat playbook. I, I just like the plays in it a lot more. I feel like they fit like my style of play a little bit better. So that is the playbook I'm going to be telling you guys to run. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to five out though without a playbook. So obviously, you know, you don't even worry about that if you're into five outing. I still got you covered with that. And then again, for a coach, I do use Nick Nurse. I talked about this in the defensive settings video as well. A lot of people were like arguing over who is the best coach doesn't really matter use whatever one that you like i me personally i just like nick nurse it just it's been the coach i've used all year you guys can see what it boosts for everybody in different situations because people have been asking that so feel free to pause the video and check that out if you need before we get actually into the gameplay aspect i want to give you guys two extra tips that i don't normally talk about when i make these kinds of videos and especially with this year they are very important so first thing i'm going to tell you talk to you guys about is the shot meter versus shooting it with it on shooting with it off I use it with it off and so do a lot of other good players. The reasoning is because when your shot meter is off, the window to green a shot is like a little bit bigger, right? But you're going to miss more if you don't green it. So if you're good at greening your shots, I highly recommend keeping this off because like I said, the window to green is a little bit bigger. So you will green more shots. However, if you guys are struggling, I do recommend turning it on. But me personally, I like shooting with it off. And the other tip I'm going to tell you guys is shot feedback. Make sure that this says all shots. 
you want to know what you're shooting because every unlimited game that you play is going to be different so you want to make sure that you're shooting your shots like like according to how that game is so if you're you know you take a pull up three and it says okay very late but or it says like slightly late and you're like damn i thought i released that really early now you know to kind of adjust it so having this on is a really good helpful tip if you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. So when you guys start out this game, obviously you're going to go to your play selection screen. I do use quick four horns flare. This is the only real play that I use online. Outside of that, like um, if you guys want to see the other plays that I do run a lot for like offline challenges and stuff like that, be sure to go check out the Miami playbook tutorial video that I did make. I go into depth with a lot more plays and stuff like that. So you really just want to make sure you have that and pass it screen away. That is the most important things. And then freelance one, I always have it set to Hawks 2018. That is how you do get that free five out that I talked about. And then just make sure that your adaptive coaching engine is turned off. Same thing over here, whether you want to decide of your shot meter being on or off, I'm going to have mine off. It just kind of fits um, my play style a little bit more. So you guys can see right on the D-pad is how you pull up the screen. You're going to hit freelance and you're going to hit talks 2018. And then when you hit pass and screen away, you guys will see that the floor actually opens up very nicely and you do get a free wide open dunk at the rim. I mean, that is like, it's like I said, it's a free five out basically a very cheap way of running um an offense like that so okay my opponent is just gonna go with the uh you know the uh, the nascar method which works out it's all good um but uh yeah so if you guys don't know again how to do this behind the back you literally just pull back on the stick or not pull back on the stick but you just flick back on the stick literally like that like as simple as that you just flick down on the stick and it will give you like that running behind the back animation i saw some of you guys asking about that as well so Really, that is like the first part of just what I'm going to show you guys because it does create the ability of giving you good floor spacing and stuff like that. You guys can see we get Chris Stops wide open right there. It's a little bit shaky of an animation, I'm not going to lie, but we were actually able to get um, a nice wide open look. So yeah, so far we're starting out pretty good. I mean, our defense is a little sluggish because it just that's how it is at first quarters of games. You guys know that. I know that. It is all good. So this other method right here is what I'm going to show you guys of getting a, basically a wide open pull up every time. So that shot right there, you guys can see I greened it 5% contested. It is what it is about the contest because I'm telling y'all, it really doesn't matter. Um, this kid literally is just turboing to the rim and my players are just like, nah, fam. But uh, yeah, so now you guys can see he's actually hedging up a little bit. So he's looking to defend that pull up shot, which is completely understandable now. Can we like get a decent thing going? please like thank you that's all i really wanted just one solid slow like animation so i can keep talking here um but yeah a lot of people do like to you know focus up on that pull-up method where uh you can actually green that shot like nine times out of ten it's very effective too because a lot of times you guys saw how you defended it well he didn't defend it right there i mean his computer kind of contested it but that is fine we're actually gonna get the ball right back here get kd wide open easy greens um <clears throat> but yeah that pull-up shot is very nice and very effective you guys will see a lot of people do take advantage of that shot a lot of the time so that's a good shot right there hopefully he hits that Okay, never mind. I will take that. I mean, it's a freebie. Like the only reason why I said hopefully he hits that is because that was my fault. I left him wide open. But um, yeah. As far as offense goes, like literally, like if you have your play set up and you have the pass and screen away thing set up, you basically have all you need to run an efficient offense. Because right here, you guys can see, um, we're gonna get another corner three with Paul George. Easy greens right there. Um, it's literally as simple as setting up the uh, freelance and the pass and screen away thing, and then they run it basically every single time down the floor as, as Luca gets a nice steal right there like every once in a while I will hit the pass and screen away option again just because like if you don't I feel like sometimes it goes like out of it and uh yeah you obviously won't have that five out so if you got ever getting stuck in a predicament where you're you're finding out that your offense really isn't running itself literally just run this play and you will get a wide open three you guys will see and if not what happens is the other side you actually will get a free dunk at the rim so already we're starting this game off shooting very efficiently my opponent is just seriously just rim running to the rim and we're playing very um we're actually playing very nice around that so like like what am i supposed to do go brandon roy wide open again i'm telling you guys easy pull-ups on that like in transition and just off of like scored buckets from your opponent are really good you guys can see we're shooting 80 percent in this first quarter seven of ten from three we've only had one turnover so we're running our offense really efficiently our only turnover i'm pretty sure was just off like a bump steal or something i don't even remember because honestly it doesn't even matter good defense right there to close out the quarter my opponent obviously is shooting very good as well 
but he's literally just rim running. I'm trying to tell you guys this right now. Like, literally, the best way to run an offense in this game is to also do the pick and roll screen thing. So, you really, realistically, the offense I'm trying to show you guys here gives you three options right off rips. So, you guys see the start of the game here. You obviously have the pull up threes. Like, I could have just taken that shot right there, but I want to show you. So, say that that gets clamped up, right? Say, like, you know, he's defending it, so I can't throw that pass. Okay, well, now you also have the option to run a five out, which I'm actually just going to let him score here. I, I just, I'm going to just, yeah. I'm just going to let him score just so I can actually show you guys this. So, say that you try to throw the, you know, like the, the pass to Brandon Roy. Okay, so he defended that, right? Now we're going to run down here. Now you have another option as a five out. Okay, his computer plays 90% of his defense for him. So all that means is I'm going to run this play here. You guys can see the five out doesn't work. So now I'm going to run this play. He's going to defend the three, which is going to give me a realistically a wide open layup. But I'm kind of in a momentum wave right now. So yeah, it's not really going to end well for me. Good defense though right there. We get the ball back. He's going to spam reach. But uh, yeah, you guys know how it is. Normally that would be a dunk or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and put the bench in. Maybe Luca's just a little bit tired. But yeah, you guys will see right here. We're going to go ahead with this five out. Okay, again, he's just going to spam reach, so it's going to slow me down. All good. All I'm going to do is set up this offense again. You guys probably aren't going to see a lot of this quarter, mainly just because like we've been caught in a momentum wave of my opponent just straight up rim running and him getting everything that he wants. So, yeah, we're just going to... Um... Damn, he really didn't throw that. I really thought he was going to as well. That's crazy. Let's go. Good defense. Finally getting a good stop right there. But, yeah, like I said, I'm actually switching up to a... Uh zone just to kind of prevent him from rim running straight up but you guys can see right there that pull-up shot is so efficient as long as you can green it it takes a little bit like i'm not gonna lie like the first like two games i've probably tried doing that i was just mistiming the release all over the place but once you get it down like you can literally green it every single time i'm not even joking let's go good defense from Kawhi. that's what i needed to see man i just needed to see one good defensive stop that revolved around this dude just straight up rim running see Occam wide open in the corner i will uh take the rebound though thank you for that bad defense on his part defending Giannis over freaking zach levine it's okay though because we can't score my man Kawhi finally greening a shot for me i will take that breaking this lead out to six again like i said we're shooting very efficiently and we're doing what we have to be doing it's literally just coming down to the fact that this dude is just straight up rim running and uh yeah the game's just kind of giving him everything so we're actually gonna go back to a man here we're gonna kind of bait him into rim running just like that good stop right there kick this to my boy levine wide open easy greens i'm telling you it's one of the most efficient shots you could really take in this game if that dude oh my god he actually got that back that is insane he actually was able to get that back that's the type of stuff i'm talking about that this dude is doing and the last thing i'm going to kind of show you guys is the whole like you know screen cheese now with this i did talk about how to stop this so don't get mad at me if you know i'm showing people how to do this it's very easy to do it's one of the most easy ways to score in this game as you guys can see we're already starting out with an easy bucket and my man just goes right back to nascar to the rim it's all good but um yeah i'll show you guys this one more time so realistically you guys need like somebody that has like a pretty good ball handle like and a good jump shot for this so brandon roy is going to be who i'm going to do this with so once you call a screen you're going to hezzy into the screen and then like so the whole pick and roll thing like i was talking about as you guys can see it's literally just like about hezzying into a screen you do this little hezzy move never mind his computer is going to play it perfectly but then we do have the roll so realistically when you're doing the whole pick and roll thing what's going to happen is it's very seriously like 98 percent of the time i would say you're either going to get a wide open three or you're going to get a wide open dunk at the rim now obviously i showed you guys again in the defensive settings video the settings to stop it i showed you guys a little bit in like the how to go 12 and 0 video of how to stop the whole pick and roll thing it's annoying don't get me wrong to stop it and if you go up against somebody really good they're gonna still green and they're still gonna you know score on you really efficiently but that's why i'm kind of showing you guys how to do it as well so you guys kind of aren't left behind i honestly hope nascar signs this dude because i don't even think he's taken a single jump shot this entire game like obviously he has but like holy hell man let's go luca wide open easy greens i love luca dude this card is so nice i think he might actually be my new favorite point guard in this game like he shoots i mean i don't know what it is man his release is just so good let's go oh my god you are lucky let's go good defense from Kristaps. way to be there on the help i think it's virtually impossible for me to be able to show you guys the whole hezzy thing this game i okay i swear to god i didn't even click shoot all i did was click pass and point to the corner because like levine was just sitting there wide open but okay that works i guess we're still getting points but um 
Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to be able to show you guys the whole pick and roll thing from this game because my man has hit this square button more times, like this game, than seriously, I, I think I've dealt with in the entirety of the year. Like, bro, like, holy hell, man. Never mind. Scratch everything I said in this video. Look, click this turbo button and click square and you're fine. Let's go, Levine, easy, wide open green. See, there we go. Now we're starting to break this lead out because my man's trying to rim run and he's just running into a wall. That's what, I'm tell that's what I keep telling you guys, too. Like, if you guys run into a guy that likes to just straight up rim run all day, every day, literally. Ah, that was my fault. I got stuck on I got stuck on Embiid. Let's go, Siak. I'm going to play some good defense there. I will take that. But, uh, yeah, no. If you guys go up against somebody that's just straight up rim running, the best thing to do is seriously just get into a zone. Most people that rim run can't shoot. I my man's actually greening a lot of shots. I will give him that. Like, the random-ass jump shots that he is taking, he... He is greening. Um, if you guys want an example of this game, there you go. <laughs> like, literally, I can't make it any more clear than that. It is all good, though, you know? Because we're still doing what we need to be doing. Levine is just greening everything, doing uh, his part to help us win this game. So we pick up a nice little win here, 103 to 76. Like, obviously, we played very well, and I'm telling you guys, we ran a really good offense as well. We, I think we shot 79%, if that's what that is saying. We, I know we did make a lot of our shots, and the only shots that we missed were seriously like the ones that I did in green. So I'm actually curious to know. Um, we shot 69%, so that's not bad at all. 21 of 34 from three. Like, you guys got to understand, that's really good, especially for shooting 34 threes, being able to knock down 21 of them. Um, we got to the line a lot just because of him spamming square the whole entire time. Um, we did have six turnovers. That was really on me just from trying to rush or whatever like not paying attention and throwing him the ball, whatever it may have been. Um, but we definitely played very well. Um, but like you guys can see, like I said, offensively, we did what we were supposed to do. Pull up threes, uh, running plays, passing screen away, a five outing like that. It's very good, very efficient. That's what I do every single month to go 12 and 0. You guys know I go 12 and 0 on other people's accounts where I used to. Don't message me because I'm not doing them anymore, at least not right now. But uh, yeah, so I think we did pretty good. Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered, and obviously most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day, um, depending on whatever we're playing, um, well, obviously just depending on my mood for that day, but my Twitch is on the screen, twitch.tv slash bio2k with an underscore, and you guys can see it on the screen, um, and then also, obviously, I do have a Twitter, if you guys want to drop a follow over here as well, the links to both of those are going to be in the description down below, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, peace.